So I did a bit of grind here on Althea SMP, and as you can see, I got myself a bit geared up. I got the basics that I need, and a ton of food in my inventory. Don't question it. I need it for farming and stuff. But anyways, I kind of wanted to just sit back and give this episode a bit of an explanation of my character's lore and stuff. I know that will be talked about through the story, but I kind of want to just give like surface layer of what my character, like who my character actually is, because as you guys know, I'm not Blazera. Like this skin, that's not Blazera. That's not the Blazera you recognize. So I'm gonna have to come clean about this, so let's get into it. Now I should probably mention in Althea that he is a she. Blake isn't a guy in Althea because it just simply doesn't match my voice. And his voice is a lot deeper than mine, so I decided to gender bend him for this. But for the sake of this video, since it's his original story I'm going to cover, it's going to be a he. But I won't be telling you anything about his Althea lore, because I'm just telling you his actual lore, because it's very, very similar to the Althea one, and you'll kind of understand as the story goes along for that. But yeah, let's get into this. Let's take a seat and get onto this. So basically, Blake's story is simple. He was raised in a family business, basically. So from youth, he was taught by his father to basically be um, inherit the family business when he would die. And uh, during that time, him and his brother would be taught at home, not in school, but at home. At home, that's right and basically be homeschooled into the education of inheriting the business. So they never really went to real school nor had friends. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. And then all of a sudden when he was a teenager, his father had passed and it automatically went to Blake since he is the older brother out of the two of them. And he basically inherited the business at a young age. So, in the normal stories context, this this would basically take him down a dark path. But in Althea's context, this didn't really affect him as much until later on. So as you imagine, Blake actually did inherit the business. You're probably wondering though, what happened after? So basically, after he had all this money and stuff, he basically got into the wrong friend group and had very bad influences around him that basically made him a gambling addict and both trigger warning for um, drug mentions and possible like, gory story. I don't really know how to put this, but he, he got into gambling and drugs because of those influences and that led him down a dark path, which his brother had no idea of, nor did anyone. But whilst doing that, he also managed to run a successful business. So at least he's good on that behalf. And also, since they don't really have parents, both of them, he is the one who takes care of his brother, so he just manages all of that. And yeah. As you can probably imagine, that's a lot of responsibility for just a teenage boy, but he he had worse going on than that. So basically, this is how it all started. So within that bad influence group, he kind of found true love at a young age. But you see here, it's not exactly the true love ending story. So basically what happened is that they fell in love, right? They they um they were together. But for a very short time. You see, those bad influences were jealous of him. They they were jealous of his success, his love story, his everything, how perfect his life was basically. And guess what they did? They did exactly what you're thinking. They they basically targeted him because of that. And to this very day, Blake is still very, very hurt from this, but um, basically what happens is 
that they went after the girl. Now, what they did? They threatened Blake, basically. And they met up one day, and right in front, they did really awful things right in front of Blake to that girl. I'm not gonna mention it because it goes a bit deeper than that, but. And then they decided to kill her right in front of him. And why, you might ask? It's, it's all out of human spite and jealousy. And this, as you can imagine, really affected Blake. Like, he basically snapped. And then he killed every single one of those friends that he used to have. And now, ever since then, um, basically, people, uh, friends of those friends, basically threatened his family and, and his li life and stuff, basically. So he's basically always on the run. Not only, is, not only is he running a business that's really huge, he has to change uh, the headquarters of the business every like couple of months because, again, he's on the run from these guys. And ever since then, shit went downhill, basically. <laughs> and after shit went downhill, his response to it was not exactly the best response. What had happened is that he became a very distant and cold human being. Like, he was definitely extroverted, but he wasn't exactly the nicest person. He became kind of alert all the time, kind of like on guard always, and he, he was kind of, uh, how do I put it? Con controlling and manipulative because he didn't want anyone to find out how he truly felt about anything so he kind of just acted like a complete jerk so everyone didn't really bother to um take a dive into what sort of character he is but of course there's always that one person that does that but for blake that is nobody um the thing is he keeps everything hidden from his own family from everything but he always tried his best to protect his brother at least and that's at least something that we can respect from him but besides that he has major trust issues in people he doesn't reveal much about himself he kind of is just a huge jerk <laughs> to everyone because of what happens in the past he doesn't think that he can really be close to anyone anymore because of that girl's death that happened because of him. Because of the one he loved died. He thinks now that I should just push everyone away and I should I don't want anyone to die around me again. Sort of personality. So that's why he kind of puts on his act like he's a big jerk, but deep inside he just doesn't want anyone to die because of him. It's very sad. But that's that's all for the backstory really. I, and you're probably wondering, how does this story tie to Alfea? Well, you'll find out. You'll find out during this series. That's why this is a thing. I'm not going to tell you. But anyways, um that's a short video about his backstory and lore. Um but in this version, it's a female, so obviously it's not- it's gonna be more lighthearted, I'd say, and not as dark as I put it. But yeah, that's basically the surface level of his actual character story that I made for him in the actual uh, story I have him in. But in Alfea, completely different human being. First of all, gender bent. Literally a female in this, and second of all, his backstory isn't as harsh as it is in the original. In the original, it's a lot more harsh, but yeah, that's all. Please subscribe for more Althea videos, and without further ado, see you guys in the next one. Bye!